Okay, so let's get started working with Docker. Um, in order to pull down the images from the Oracle GitHub repo, we're gonna have to use Git. So if we don't have Git installed, go ahead and install Git now. Um, I'm in a terminal window on my CentOS uh, Linux workstation, and I'm gonna do a sudo yum install Git. And I probably already have it installed. So let's see what happens. Okay, so Git is already installed in my system. The next thing we wanna do is, I wanna start fresh with Docker. This is an optional step. I'm gonna remove all the old versions of Docker from my system, and I'm going to reinstall Docker so you can see what that looks like. So I'm gonna do a sudo yum, remove Docker, Docker common, Docker SC Linux, and Docker Engine. Okay, so now that Docker has been removed, I'm gonna reinstall Docker. But if you don't have the Docker repo actually added to your package manor, manager, you need to do that right now. So if you're using the yum package manager, the syntax looks something like this. I'm gonna do a sudo yum config manager add re repo and the repo address is download.docker.com and I'll post links to this in the description below the video. So go ahead and add the repo to your environment, to your package manager and then now we can do a make cache, we can update the cache for the package manager. Now once the cache is updated we can now install Docker. So that is a sudo yum install docker-ce. The ce here stands for community edition. This is the free version. And we'll say yes to install it. And you can also go to docker.com and download the package and, and install it that way as well. But using the package manager is sometimes simpler. Okay, so now that Docker's installed, we're gonna set it up to run as a service. So that's why it's always running in the background. So to do that, I'm gonna run system control, start Docker, and then also enable it as well. So this will survive reboots. There we go. Now the next thing you can do um, it, Docker is installed as a privileged user. Anytime you want to run a Docker command, you have to run sudo. If you don't want to have to do sudo all the time, then you can add yourself to the Docker group. Make yourself a member of that group, and that way you don't need to run sudo all the time. So to do that, I'm going to run user mod on myself here. So what, I, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add myself to the Docker group. So now that we got Docker installed and I've added myself to the Docker group, let's go ahead and run a simple hello world container just to make sure everything is working. So do our Docker run hello dash world. So what's happening here is that Docker is looking for an image called hello world locally. It cannot find it locally. So it's going out to the Docker hub and pulling down that image. And that's what you see here downloaded newer image for hello world and the output here tells us that the container image the container actually ran successfully 